Um, so the team had came to me, and they're, like I said, there's three LVAC coordinators um, in the service line, and they had asked me to do some education with Jim, <laughs> and um, saying that he was very standoffish of the idea of having a mechanical pump and an LVAD. So I just came in and sat down with him, started talking about his heart failure symptoms, and about his quality of life with his heart failure and what he wasn't able to get to do because of his heart failure. And um, you could tell he was short of breath, his legs were swollen, I could see the drip hanging. Um, all signs point to that his heart failure is pretty bad. And uh, He was at this point when he needed something dramatically different. He needed major surgery to help him live up to this point. He was initially very reluctant to uh, this idea and uh, very resistant uh, to their very uh, suggestion of uh, getting through this major surgery and getting this device. Well, I was scared, nervous, and uh, when she come in, she brought the paper in, and my brother was here, and we got to look into it, and he said, well, Jim, I'd, if you qualified, I, I'd rather see you in that little pump. I said, you ain't the only one. <laughs> And, uh, but I was willing to go with the other one if I, if I didn't qualify for it. But lo and behold, I did. And I never was so thankful in my life. And this little thing come in, and she would answer any question I had, took all the fears away. And I remember when I was first introduced to an LVAD, it, I had no idea what it was. And I could understand that fear of the unknown to it, but I also got to see patients from being in the ICU and being as sick as they are to seeing them in the clinic setting and just that quality of life, that stamina, the no oxygen tank, the being able to walk further, the getting back to what they wanted to do was just amazing. And in the end, uh, he was very happy that he actually got it because, you know, it is uh, amazing uh, how they are. You come to see the patient next morning after the surgery and their skin color is different, and the, there is life in them, there is circulation in them, and they look better. And when they are about to get discharged 10 days or two weeks later, it is very gratifying to see how much they improved on your watch because of, because of the intervention you were able to offer. Uh, at that time, I was tickled to death to have it, mm -hmm. and I was no longer afraid of nothing. I found out they got it put in fine, mm -hmm. and everything's working fine, but uh, I was so glad that I qualified for it. I do want to mention the biggest thing that I saw about him was how hard he was struggling breathing prior to his uh, surgery, mm -hmm. and the day after the breathing tube was pulled out, he was not on oxygen. And I came in and I said, you're really raising the bar <laughs> for the HeartMate 3 LVADs. And so now, you have a new lease on life. Yeah. Tell me what you're going to do when you're discharged home. Well, <clears throat> I aim to go home, sit on my front porch, watch the traffic go up <laughs> and down the street, and hug my wife. Mm -mm.